thank you everyone. And thank you, Pat. Pat, we will go through our evaluation in this order. I'll start the evaluation. Barbara will talk about your effectiveness. I will be talking about your introduction and how you caught the audience attention. And Caroline will wrap up by talking about your the specific characteristics as a speaker. So let me get started. You caught everyone's attention by asking a question. What I really liked about your speech is that you addressed Toastmasters and non-Toastmasters. <coughs> your speech evaluations initially, the impression was that you were only going to talk to the Toastmasters. But when you talked about SpongeBob, talked to William especially, and then talked to almost everyone as if it is not just about Toastmasters, but it is also about our daily life. That is where I felt that you got the audience into a very comfortable mode, right? We warmed up to something very serious. Talking about how real life experiences gel with what we do in Toastmasters was the most effective way, in my opinion, to get Toastmasters really appreciate what they do already do. But at the same time, for non-Toastmasters, they can see the relationship between what is really done in Toastmasters that can be really achieved effectively if they focus on evaluation. The movie, SpongeBob, I think initially I was skeptical that why are you only talking about a movie which is more meaningful to children. But then you took that movie and you made, made us feel as if this is a movie which is not just for kids, but let's say managerial skills. That was also very good. And later on, you also brought that movie back into your speech, which I think really worked well as an opening of your speech. So overall, I was very impressed with the way you brought the audience attention, and you warned us up, telling us what your speech was going to be about. One thing I did miss somehow was really be very specific about what your topics were going to be. But that was sort of covered step by step without even mentioning into the opening of your speech. So a job well done. Thank Barbara. you. Thank you, Ryan. It's nice to see you again. I was asked to specifically focus on how you related to your audience. And I also want to mention SpongeBob and William. And I thought it was quite interesting that you brought our youngest guest into it. And it was a very relatable story for everyone. I want to be a manager, too. <laughs> I, I, one of the things that I enjoyed was that, as a role model, how did you portray yourself as a role model? We're always taught in Toastmasters that your speech begins long before your speech begins. It begins as soon as anyone in your audience might hear you or see you. And being introduced as the president of the club would help establish your credentials and your experience. And you had said that your first evaluations were whitewashes. It's very hard to try and evaluate a speaker as experienced and, well, awesome as you without making it a whiteout. So I'm going to make sure that I do focus on one area of improvement Good. that I spotted. Relating with an audience, everyone was using rapt attention. They were just, they were looking, there were a couple of notes being taken, but most of the faces were very open and smiling. And you had made mention that Correcting a friend and counseling a friend was uncomfortable, but you knew you had to do it. You should have seen the flinches around the room. Oh, yeah, I remember once I had to correct a friend. And so people were reacting, they were relating, and they were getting your message. I also like the way that you built the relationship. It was like a dichotomy between the most ancient human emotion of this is my family, I love my family, and the most modern of things, a picture cell phone, was sending out that the... the, the picture of your niece, where everyone sees you not only as the speaker, but as a person. Mm -hmm. And the, it brings their emotions into it. And emotions are not always a bad thing. They can be a great thing. I would say one thing for improvement, and it's, an, it's, it's such a basic thing, and I think you just forgot about it. You were so focused on the message, the tape. You, brought, you were always making eye contact with people until you were getting preoccupied with that tape for the yeah. signs. Mm -hmm. My area of improvement would make sure that you have played with those props beforehand and get that little 3M wrist thing with the pop-up oh, tape. Yeah. 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 
So that would be my only improvement, and you, you rock. <laughs> my area of evaluation is going to be related to what's in it for me as that audience member. One of the things that I want to extol you on is including all people in the audience. The way that you reiterated responses and encouraged response, first of all, but reiterated and clarified that response was exceptional in that we fully understood what, what that person or uh, that individual was trying to say as well as you brought in some areas and, and, some, and something that pulled right into the next area that you wanted to talk about. I appreciated the way you, you, you clarified. I, encourage, I really appreciated the way that you included everybody, and, and, as well as William. And although he did, did say his name, which was a response, but I think that we had visitors that participated in your speech, and I think that's an excellent way of helping them feel like they're part of the, the group right from the very beginning. So that's another way that I want to extol you on your presentation. I've, I've liked some of the, the important things that you brought out that really related to the audience as a whole, not only as a Toastmaster, but also as somebody who works somewhere and could be part of a larger community or in a civic organization. And I appreciated the way that you you were very specific in some of the, the ways that we would actually give feedback. Like I saw, I believe, you, you talked about being sincere and uh, say things along that I was concerned, so on and so forth. My big question was, did you teach and did you entertain? I have to say with SpongeBob as the beginning and the end, how could you not entertain? There were chuckles throughout. I think that one of the big areas that I would like to see you improve on, and you already talked about it in our meeting, was the fact that you, your, your hands need to be specific, but also, and you were many times, but also your eyes, ums, and wells. You say that's the way you are, you've been that way, you're in Toastmasters 19 years, clean it up, lady. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, Carol. Appreciate that. <laughs> Beth, you have a minute to respond. Yes, thank you. Um, all very effective feedback for me. Um, exactly. It, I think that, um, Caroline, well, all three of you also say, say things, you know, we don't hear, we don't know, just like I said in my message, we don't know until we hear. And we also don't know until we've heard it a number of times or in the right way or suggested in the right way. And that's why I think it's really great to bring a speech to this club or in any club is to really try it out in its entirety. Will I be giving a speech like this again? Yes, obviously. But what's more important is the message and the greater, the greater message. So, and how I communicate as a leader. And I think that I got that from all three of you today. So, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pat. We we'll have two minutes for feedback from the audience. So raise your hand. Let's go ahead. Okay. I, uh, I know she had six or seven pieces of paper up there. And I think I would have liked to have seen those condensed into just three. Whenever you have more than three things, the audience, whether we did it here or not, I, uh, the audience usually took it's, it's too much. So she could have just condensed that into three three points. I, I also think that uh, nobody mentioned the nonverbal. Uh, uh, something, it's not necessarily what you say, but, but how you say it and you're, you're saying it. I mean, she I used her gestures. But, but if you, uh, you have to consider also what you're not saying. Uh, Verbally, what you are saying with your uh, your body movement and, and so on. I liked uh, the uh, the dialogue. So so often speeches are just just one way, and I really appreciate that. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Thank you. Thank Those you. are my three points. Okay. Okay. I think you know most. Most of you know that my wife and I are getting ready to take uh, thirty students to Ireland for a semester of study, college students, and we have some authority over them. But mostly, we just get to suggest and guide. And I think I learned more in that twenty minutes when you were up there about how to go about doing this job as well as it can be done. Than I, I mean, it was amazing. You were hitting me right between the eyes. One. <laughs> Thank you. I think of Pat as a, a wonderful role model. She's not only a past district governor, but she shares her expertise with us. And the fact that she has 40 people reporting to her, I, I, I really look to Pat as a, a wonderful role model. Thank you. And that's all we have because the red light is on. So with this, we'll wrap up, wrap up our evaluation one. So thank you, Pat. Okay.